Alright, so this is a hike up to Langer Lake and Roughneck Lake and Island Lake. Whew. And I just hit the initial climb. I'm at about 8,000 feet now. Start at 7,000. And we went up to 8,000, a little bit over a third of a mile. So that was pretty steep. This is the, the view. There was a fire here years ago. So things are a little bleak. There's a big storm rolling in over those mountains and I'm hoping it's going to blow a different direction so I don't get my ass caught out here at 8,000 feet in a thunderstorm. But we'll soon see. The lake should be about another mile or so up the trail so I'm just going to keep on hoofing it. Alright, I'll try something different this time. Actually record my tired sweaty ass hiking down the trail. One big benefit is with this storm blowing in, it's dropped the temperatures down. It's probably about 68, 67 degrees. But you can see I'm still sweating like a pig. And that's just from that altitude climb. Um, I'm going to keep hoofing it. Switch hands so you can see the, the storm coming too. But um, got all my gear on, my GPS, my satellite receiver, all my fly fishing gear, got an MRE and a, a fuzzy that I call them, a polypropylene jacket in the back end in case I need it. I've got a um, emergency blanket, one of those silver ones, I can always make a, a shelter if I need to, if it really gets bad out here. But, unless otherwise, my ass is going to keep pounding for the lakes, and as you can see, that storm is getting closer and darker all the time. So the race is on. Let's see if this thing's gonna blow over or is my ass gonna get caught in it. All right, okay, so I'm starting to um, come off the ridge line and hopefully get down to the valley, or at least off this, could be such a target for the lightning. Um, I'm gonna start dropping down to the lakes now so you can hear the creek running off the lake. I probably have about another half a quarter mile, but I've got about a about a 50% chance of the storm going past me. But it is a lot more comforting just to get down into the to the swale here into the valley and quit being such a big target with this big aluminum fly rod tube that I've got sticking out of the back of my backpack. But the trees are nice and tall. Um, should protect me at least from lightning strikes. You can hear the thunder in the distance every once in a while. But um, and you can see that storm's just a brewing over there. So we'll see. I should have about, about a half mile more to go until I get to the um, lake. And if I remember correctly, I think there's a cabin back here. So if there's some old dilapidated cabin, I might be able to take shelter in there before I get back. I guess the big question I'm wondering, probably that you're wondering too, is why the hell don't I just turn back and get back to the truck? Well, you live and you learn. You know, I've never been faced with a challenge like this, and let's see how well I can do it. Not only that, but it's a relatively long drive, and I really busted my ass on that first half mile to get up this far. And like I said, by looking at the storm, I think I've got about a 50-50 a chance that it's going to pass me by. So, we'll just see if watching, um, Oh, what was that guy's Les Stroud survival out in the wilderness? Survivor man, that's it. Let's just see if I can live up to his expectations. All right, I'm gonna keep going, go up over top of this ridge, and I think I'm gonna start dropping down into the lake. All right, so still dry, past Langer Lake. There's some campers down in there, so I didn't want to mess with them. The thunderstorm is still threatening. I think it's gonna pass by. I'm up on the ridge again. In this heavy forest land, as you can see, I'm working my way to Roughneck Lake. There's a little bit of Langer Lake over there in the corner, but um, I'll get some better pictures at Roughneck Lake. You can see it's pretty, pretty heavy woods around through here. Okay, so anyway, still sweating, cooling off a little bit. I don't know how high I'm. Uh, how high am I? Let's see here. I 
you can still hear the thunder in the background so looks like I'm at about I don't know if it'll focus 8,100 feet so I'm always up there all right I'm gonna keep going see if I can get some fish in and not get wet okay coming up on I think this is Roughneck Lake to be honest with you I'm not really sure but I think that's where we are it's gotten a little bit windier temperatures dropped a little bit more and of course the storm is still threatening but I got no rain yet so we're just gonna keep on keeping on until we see what there is to see A lot of wind on the water. I don't know how good my fishing is going to be today. It's probably going to actually suck unless this storm will hurry and blow over and it'll turn a little bit nicer out here. It doesn't seem to want to do that either. Let's see, what's the temperature say? Thermometer. I don't know if I'll be able to read that or not. Nope. No reading that, but it looks like it's around 58 degrees. So the temperature has definitely dropped since I started out. Like I said, I think this is Roughneck Lake here. Um, I'm going to shoot for Island Lake. It's um, a little bit deeper water, a little bit more accessible, I think. I don't see anything playing on the surface here, so we're just going to keep on moving and see what we can see. As you can see, it's pretty overcast, but no rain yet. So we're just going to keep on keeping on. All right, let's see if I can make it to Island Lake. All right, so I'm really not sure. I think, is this part of Rough Lake or this may be Island Lake in itself? I don't know. We'll see. I'll just sort of hoof around it and see what I come up with. Good campsite here. I think this is Island Lake for some reason. But I'm not really sure. I'll have to look at my GPS. This may be just an extension of Rough Lake also. Nope, it says Island Lake on the Yep, that's what it says, Island Lake, so. Wow, lots of mosquitoes though, I will say that about it. Of course, what did I do, but forget the damn mosquito repellent. Oh well, what's new? Pretty lake though, pretty well stocked with fish too. I just gotta find the spot. Think about doing some fishing. All right, well, I'm gonna eat my MRE and um, look up this creek and see if I can see all those spawning trout again. All right, so it's getting a little hairy out here. Um, thunderstorm's coming up hard and fast and it thought it would blow over by now, but it's just getting worse. So now I'm gonna try to race it back down the mountain and see if I can get back down the mountain before this damn storm hits. Um, the race is on, that's really what it comes down to. Let's see if I can make it. I have my ass is going to end up getting wet though. Not too many ways around that. Um, like I said, you can still hear the thunder in the background. I just got to find the trail. Get my happy ass on out of here. Um, keep you updated. Okay, so it's getting a little bit hairier out here. It's um, temperatures dropped down into the 40s now, and um, it's almost constant thunder. A little bit of drizzly rain. Haven't um, seen any lightning yet, but like I said, there's a buttload of thunder. And the sky's getting damn dark. So, I'm going to try to make it down to the truck. Try to get through that open area. 
before it gets really hairy. If not, I'm going to have to just park my ass under a tree with my emergency blanket and see if I can ride this out. Um, well, there's a 50% chance. Looks like I got on the wrong side of the 50%. So I'm just going to keep on going and try to get through. As you can hear, try to get through the open area on top of that ridge and see if I can get past that. I may have to wait this out down here in the woods and let this blow over first. We'll see. You can hear the thunder. It's almost constant now. It would really be nice if this thing would blow over before I start going downhill and I can turn around and go back and go fishing. I mean, it looks like there's light on the horizon, but it's going to be nasty getting to that light. And I say the temperature's dropping. It's in the 40s now. I'm going to have to put on my fleece jacket just a little bit. This is getting that cold and I'm all sweaty. Here's the thunder. Like I said, it's almost constant now. All right. We're just gonna keep on keeping on. Okay, so not only has it started raining, but just add a little bit of bitchiness to the whole situation. Lightning and hail. That's what you get with these storms on these high altitudes like this, up in these mountains. These storms sort of roar through, and then they're done, but they're, you can be pretty nasty. Um, the trail's already filling up with water, and um, like I said, it was just hailing a second ago, so seen worse, but seen better. But I should make it back to the car. This thing's starting to blow over a little bit. Hopefully by the time I hit the um, open area with this rod in my back, I should be okay. All right, well, I'm gonna stand here for a few more minutes underneath these trees, wait for the rain to stop, and I'm gonna make a push to get down the mountain. Okay, check in later. Heading back down, storm's starting to blow over. It's still raining. Mosquitoes are horrendous. I've seen about four people on their way back up. I would turn around and do some fishing, but I'm more than halfway down and I'm not climbing all the way the hill back up there again. Um, this is just one of those things where you don't check the weather first and you sort of get screwed. And also, bad time to forget that you forgot your fucking rain gear too, on top of everything else. Oh well, you live, you learn, you do it again the next time. Alright, back down to the car. There's a shot for you in the distance. Sawtooth Mountains. With some fresh snow on them. And of course the clearing sky. Oh well, can't win them all. Okay, needless to say, we made it back down. Um, of course it um, quit raining, the sun's out. Must have seen four different groups heading up as I was coming down. But um, lesson learned, check the goddamn weather and definitely next time carry your rain gear with you. All right, I'm gonna have something to eat. Haul my ass back down to Boise. There's a big salmon or something heading upstream. See if I can find that big fucker. There he is. There's a couple of them. Stuck in the shallows up here. Big old boys though. I think those dark shadows right there are them. But they're huge. They're probably about 35, 38 inches long. Let's see if we can zero in on them a little better. Yeah, there he is. You see that big shadow? There's a couple of them down in there. That's him right there. That's about 30 inches of fish. Probably even more than that. Actually, there's a whole bunch of them. If you look, 
You may not be able to see them. I see them really well with my polarized lenses. There he is. That's about 30, probably 40 inches worth of fish. There's a couple of them. Huge bastards. I mean, huge. There's a whole bunch of them right behind him, too. I'm going to try to cast over to him. I don't think my little 6X tippet's going to do much with those big bastards. But you never know, I might get lucky. Somebody's got to catch them big son of a bitches. Maybe it'll be me. Alright, let's give this a shot. I'll be right back. Alright, so I even tried to nymph them. I tried to dry fly them. Those big son of bitches aren't going to come to do what I want them to do. But I will say one thing. Those are some big ass fish. I mean, that one, the big one there, he's probably... 40 inches, 38 inches, there's a whole bunch more of them that are anywhere from about 22, 20 inches all the way up to about 30 inches. But he's the big boy. Shit, I'm gonna have to just take the damn gun out and take a shot at him. Those are some big ass fish, that's for sure. It seems like there's more back there in the back. Yeah, hard to tell. But it's hard to believe in such a little tiny creek that big a fish would be running up and down the creek. Oh well, that's impressive. That I gotta say. Alright, time to move back towards the truck.